Hi, everybody. Just want to touch base again here real quick and talk a little bit more about the staff and the uh, high pitch versus low pitch idea that we had touched on in the first video. The highness or the lowness of a note is relative to everything around it. So a note doesn't have to be on the bottom line of the staff for it to be necessarily lower than the note that came before it. Uh, for example, a note on the third line of the staff, as you can see here, is still lower than a note on the third space of the staff, even though on paper they're relatively close to each other. Almost like stair steps, okay? One step being lower than the next one. Not by a lot, but, but by enough to consider it lower. A note on the highest line of the staff, which would be the fifth line, is higher than a note in the highest space of the staff, which is the fourth space, as you can see here. Even though on paper, they are relatively close to each other. Now you can have polar opposites. You could have a note on the first line of the staff all the way at the bottom and another note on the highest line of the staff all the way at the top. And the highest note would definitely be higher than the other one. Uh, we could see that pretty clearly, but the high or the low is relative to whatever else is around it. I really wanna make sure that we understand that because there's another worksheet in your homework that's gonna to have to do with this. It's called the staff high and low. And that's another sheet that we'll need to have filled in and turned in. All right, good luck, thanks so much.